Welcome back. In this video, we're going to show you how to get creative light leaks using nothing more than a few matches. Back in the good old days of film, if you had a gap in your camera body, light would leak in through the cracks and tinge the film with colour casts across the frames. This exposure to light, or light leaking, originally thought of as a problem, caught on as a creative technique that enhanced images beyond their standard exposure. Light leaking can be emulated in digital photography and is usually applied in post-production software, overlaying an image of a light leak digitally. By striking a match or igniting a lighter, we can see the warm orange flicker of fire. If we place this closely in front of our lens and focus on our model further in the distance, we can blur out the fire to imitate a light leak. But to make sure you don't melt your cannon, take it step by step with us as we walk you through the process. Before we get started, it's safety first. We brought a bucket of water to extinguish matches and to use in case we drop them on the floor. We also prepared a damp tea towel in case we burnt our hands. The type of lens you use is important for the final effect. Feel free to experiment with focal lengths and see what looks best for you. We found that a 50mm f1.4 was the perfect lens to frame a nice portrait, while simultaneously compressing the perspective enough to blur any close-up foreground elements. The wider the lens, the less perspective compression occurs. We shot this light leak portrait inside, so the ambient light was inherently darker than shooting outside. The advantage of shooting indoors is that you can do this project even if it's raining. And the window light has a beautiful quality, with soft shadows and smooth highlights that will wrap around your subject. Using aperture priority mode, we set our ISO at 500 to compensate for the lower light levels inside. Our aperture was f2.8 to blur the fire sufficiently when held in front of the lens. Our shutter speed was around 1 250th of a second, which was fast enough to keep the image sharp as we shot handheld. When shopping for matches, we recommend using long cooks matches or a long neck lighter to take the shots. This will give you a longer burn time before either the match scorches your fingers or the lighter warms up so much it burns your skin. They're both available very cheaply from most homeware shops or supermarkets. We had to hold the match close to the front element of the lens in order for the fire to blur. If your motor skills aren't quite as finely tuned as they should be, then use a lens hood to force the fire away from the glass. So there you have it. Using nothing more than a few matchsticks or a lighter, you too can get your own creative light straight out of the camera.